Welcome to the Learning D2L Podcast, where in each episode we look at best practices when using Desire to Learn and the various tools within the system. In this podcast, we're going to look at how to decompress or unzip a compressed archive into Desire to Learn. First thing we need to do is go to Tools and Manage Files to go to the Files area. And then we need to upload the files. So I'm going to click on Upload. And these are located on the desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Desktop. And now you cannot upload a folder like this in Desire to Learn, but you can compress it. And like these two files are compressed, you can compress it and upload it that way. So I'm going to select these two files and we'll talk about the differences once we get them up there. I'm going to go ahead and click open and it's going to upload those two files. And then I click Save, and the two files should appear. Okay, now let's talk about the differences. Now there is a video on how to compress and create these two types of files, or these two types of compressed folders. This one consists of three documents that were not inside of a folder, or were not compressed inside of a folder. So when they're decompressed, they're going to go right into this area and not be placed in a folder. This one, however, is a folder that contains three documents. When it is unzipped or decompressed, it will create a folder and put the three documents inside. So let's look at the difference there. So the first one, I'm going to go ahead and do the folder. And if I click on the pull down arrow, I get some options here. I'm going to click on unzip. Okay, it has now processed those files. I now have a folder called PowerPoints. And if I go inside of it, there are my three documents. Now I'm going to go back to the root directory again so I can see my files. And then I'm going to unzip the top one. Now once again, these were in a folder when they were compressed, so it created a folder when they were decompressed. Now, if I go over here and do the pull down arrow, click on unzip. What's going to happen to these three is they just go right into that root directory. Now if I'd uploaded this into an existing file, say I'd already created some folders in this files area, if I'd uploaded the zip file into that folder and then unzipped it, it would have put those files inside of that folder. So that's the difference depending on how you want them to act when you decompress them that is the kind of file you'll create in the creation process. Oh.